Hi and welcome to The Write Channel where we talk all things creative writing. My name's Nicola Monaghan and I'm a prize winning author from Nottingham in the United Kingdom and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own book cover all by yourself using a really cool tool on the internet called Canva. So this is canva.com. You can literally go to a web browser and type in canva.com. And it's a really nice little diverse piece of software that can do lots of different graphic designing for you. It can do nearly all the things that you can do on Photoshop. So it's dead useful. And there is a completely free version. So you can do presentations, social media stuff, videos even. You can do products for print and you can do stuff for electronic formats as well. I use Canva for my book covers when I'm publishing myself. And I also use Canva basically for all of my YouTube graphics and all of my graphics for my online courses so I get a lot out of it so for that reason I basically use Canva Pro because that does even more stuff like things like you can remove the background on photographs and you can use all sorts of effects and different fonts and different pictures some of the images and the elements and the things that you can use to make your designs are only available on Canva Pro so I think it is probably worth the subscription if you're going to be doing a lot of this kind of stuff but the free version will do most of what you want to do so basically you sign up for an account here and you sign up in the usual way where it's going to ask you to either sign up with email or you can sign up with Google or with Facebook. So it's all really simple. Of course, I'm already signed up, so I'm simply going to log in. So when you're logged into Canva, you can create a design just here or you can look at designs you've already created, which can be quite useful because the designs you've already created, you can just make a copy of them and edit them. And that way you can basically make new things that are similar, that perhaps have the similar look and feel to what you're trying to do for your book covers. So I'm going to show you where to find the book cover templates. So basically, there's loads and loads of templates in Canva. You just click onto the template here and you see that everything comes up. And actually, I can't see ebooks here, but I know they do them because somebody's told me or I've watched a useful video on YouTube. So I'm going to search for the kind of template I want. So I'm going to look for ebooks, ebook covers. There we go. So here I am, ebook cover templates, and I can scroll through and I can look at all of the ones. Basically, they're all ready for me and I can just literally click one, something that says to me what I'm trying to say about my book or I can do a search. So, for example, ebook covers crime. And it will show me all of the crime covers. Now, the, some of these are free and some of these you only get with the pro version, but you'll soon get the sense of what that is. And you'll see that they've got different images and different kinds of books and that they already have potential titles. And it's easy to edit all of that. And I'll show you that in a minute. The other thing you can do is browse by category and literally put a filter on. So we've got novel, fiction, illustration, thriller, nonfiction, romance, for example. So let's look at the thrillers. And that will give us just the ones that are basically designed to be thrillers. And you can do that for any genre, obviously. So let's pick one of these. Let's pick The Dark Side of Winter. Very dark cover. Um, as I said in the last video, if you watch that, a lot of thrillers and a lot of the crime fiction, in fact, I think I looked particularly at police procedurals, a lot of those had very dark covers, silhouettes and pictures of ruins or houses on them. So this is a particularly good one to pick, I think. Perhaps a little bit too dark and indistinct, but it fits with what we saw when we looked on Amazon last time. So all I do is I literally click customize this template. It's welcoming me to some new functionality here, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. I'll come back to that another time. For now, I'll just click that off and I'll edit this. Now I can change the picture if I want to, so I can edit the image here. Because I've got the pro version, I can do all sorts of things like remove the background. I can alter the brightness. So it's becoming a little bit less indistinct and the contrast and the color saturation and all of these kind of things until the image looks the way that I want it to look. I can also change the fonts. So I can change the kind of font that I have here, literally choose a different font to say whatever it is I want to say. Obviously you have to be slightly careful because some of those fonts are going to take them right off the page, but you see how you can do that. And obviously this isn't the title for your book. It's the title that was basically there in the system already. So you're going to change that to your title. So let's just, for the sake of argument, call it 
my title. I'll get rid of that bit because I don't want that. And then here, my name. So it really is as simple as that. Just choose a template, adjust it the way you want, and then put your own title and your own name on it. Now you can change the picture as well, and you can upload pictures here. So you can upload whatever pictures you want to there, and those pictures you can then pull into your book cover, if that's helpful. You can pull little illustrations in here, so you can go through elements, tends to be little illustrations and shapes, that kind of thing. You can find all sorts of things there. You can also find photos here and you can search on photos. So say you're specifically looking for this kind of image. So a kind of um, dark hut kind of image. And you'll see that you've got lots of images of that kind of nature. So if you wanted woods, you could do this. Or if you wanted a house for example and then you can just click onto the picture you can see that I've chosen a pro picture there but there are plenty of pictures that aren't you can replace the background set images background there and you can see that changes the picture completely so completely customizable as I said you can upload your own pictures and that does come with the free version you can upload your own pictures and put those on as your book cover if you want to so this is one that I've used before so if I right click and do replace background it now has that on obviously looking at this I'm immediately thinking I'm going to have to do something about the fonts either the font of that or the color of that I'm going to need to change that so it makes more sense and so it can be seen better so that's better already, although I'm not sure it's quite right for any kind of genre that I might be writing, but that's something you can play around with. So it's all very customizable. As I say, they are all there for you, these various templates, but you can make them your own. Once you're happy with your design, then you can literally download it here and you can choose the file type that you want. .png gives you a really high quality image, but if you want a small file size, you might want to do a JPEG. And if you're planning to publish for print, then you're probably gonna want a PDF. You can actually upload that into Amazon, into the cover designer there, the, your JPEG, in fact, you can. So you don't necessarily need to create the whole cover PDF here. You can do the front cover here, upload it into the Amazon cover designer, and then you can take it from there, which I've done before when I was publishing an ebook and worked really well. So that's an option too. So as you can see, Canva.com, really good tool for creating these book covers. And as I said, there's a free version and a pro version. I do recommend the pro version because actually it has a lot of functionality for me because I do a lot of graphics and a lot of design for my various things that I publish and create online. Actually, I've saved a lot of money using Canva.com Pro because it's a lot cheaper than the Adobe products. And I found it actually is a lot easier to use as well. So I really love it and definitely recommend it. So that's how you can create your own book covers in canva.com. Really useful if you're self-publishing. If you found this useful, then please do give me a thumbs up below because all of this stuff really helps my channel. And if you are thinking of taking a more traditional route with your publishing, then watch out for my next video, which is all about how you find a big publisher and how you send your work out into the world to try and get it published in that kind of traditional way. So watch out for that. Thanks for joining me on The Right Channel and I hopefully see you here again soon.